Alexander in Athens, Greece writes, he says, Paul, is it possible to edit DSD audio, DSF files, without converting them to PCM? If no, is there any loss in quality when you do that? I have several DSF files that are actually the whole sides of vinyl, and I'd like to separate the tracks. So thank you in advance and keep up the good work. Well, yes, you can edit DSD files for sure. It depends on what you're trying to do. The simple edits where you like in the old days, we used to use tape. We'd use razor blades, right? You'd run the tape, you'd make a mark, you'd cut it with a blade, you'd pull it over here, and then you'd, and then you'd tape it back together. I spent, oh gosh, hundreds, thousands of hours of editing tape with a razor blade. If you had a speech that, or some, but an interview, and somebody was, uh, eh, uh, well, I, uh, and take out every one of those little uhs and try and put it together so that the person sounded coherent. <laughs> I mean, little tiny edits like that. It, 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 it took some time. Today, of course, we simply do the same thing except we use a system like this. You use a mouse. You click right on the point you want. You can zoom in, take the uh out or uh, break a track so that like, like he wants to do you've got this long recording it's an hour long recording and you want to break it up into separate tracks separate songs if you will that's pretty easy to do um, there are a number of programs that allow you to do that with DSD no difference than PCM as far as that editing you can grab it you can put it over here you can move it there do whatever you want not a problem where DSD and PCM differ is if you want to change the level of PCM. Like, for example, many when I'm at Octave Records and I'm doing editing of DSD, I want to do what's called a crossfade. And a crossfade is where one where you make a slice, but and then one quickly dives out and the other quickly dives out. You put the two together so it's not this is abrupt thing. So one fades down, another fades up. That little area right there needs to be converted to PCM in order to control the level. And everything else is left alone. And that's what Sonoma system does. Pyramid system can do the same thing. And that's, that's what you need to do. Now, we have recently been talking a bit about the possibility of actually controlling in a DAW DSD gain. So that is possible, but not when DSD is one bit. And I think people get confused about this. PDM, pulse density modulation, and Sony would refer to that as their trade name as, as DSD, but it's pulse density modulation as opposed to PCM, which is pulse code modulation. Pulse code modulation is a many-bit many format, and pulse density modulation typically is a one-bit format, but it doesn't have to be. It can be as many bits as you want, still using the same type of coding scheme. So if you wanted DSD to be able to be edited and gain adjusted, then you'd have to take it from a one bit and expand it to a multi bit. And then you could do that kind of stuff. But that takes a lot of processing power. And someday at Octave Records, uh, we'd like to go ahead and try that. But for now, we're using DSD 256 one bit. And while we can edit it, we can't level it. So that takes a whole different process. But yes, for your purpose, you certainly can. Okay. Thanks for the question. Hope that helped. Bye.